In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to user catch in Madden 23. What's good, guys? My name is Cody. Just want to thank you for watching this video. And in today's video, we're going to teach you how to user catch. Now, if you're new to the channel and you're looking to get better at Madden, make sure that you subscribe and turn on those notifications. We upload videos every single day that are designed to help you get better at this game. Now, we're going to be teaching you a really fun little tutorial today about user catching. And we're going to talk about two different types of user catches that I like to use to not only help me beat zone coverage, but also to help me beat man-to-man -man in this year's game. Look different than years past so i want to do a tutorial on this also if you're watching this video and you want to take your game to the next level make sure that you join our patreon that's where you can get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks we have a full trip side in ebook a full bunch ebook we're working right now on a gun tight ebook a gun u trips ebook we got a lot of material over there so if you want to get access to all that you get everything by becoming a patreon member so in this video, we're going to show you how to user catch out of the trips tied in. That's my personal favorite offense in the game right now um, because it literally allows you to be able to run the ball, pass the ball, have great spacing. And we're going to show you how to use this play um, to be able to be man and zone coverage with our user catching. So user catching in Madden is a little bit different this year. We're going to be working out of the play PA slot corner in the Detroit playbook. And what we're going to want to do with this is this is basically a corner route user catch that I like to do. And essentially, the first thing that we want to do is as soon as you throw the football, you want to click on to your receiver. You do that by hitting the circle button on PlayStation, and you do that by hitting the B button on Xbox. And basically, what we're going to look for here is for him to cut to the outside. And when he does, we're going to throw an outside pass lead, and we're going to click on, and I'm going to show you what we do with our user. Now, this is specific to corner routes that you need to catch over the top of a guy this is great for Donald Parham and what you're gonna see here is when we throw this we're throwing it with an outside pass lead I don't use class or I use classic um, and then what you're gonna see is we click on right about here now I want you to notice his track now he's currently on a track to go to the corner you see right see that right there see how we turn and bring him back to the football this is going to help give us an aggressive catch animation that is going to make it a lot less likely for the defense to be able to intercept the ball let me show you what I'm talking about with this next throw you're going to see that I am going to basically throw the ball outside and I'm not going to click on and you're going to see a significant difference you see there it's a lot tighter of a throw could have potentially been intercepted and the throw also does doesn't really go to the sideline you'll see here again kind of that we were able to catch that ball but I'm just telling you guys that is very difficult to do that on a consistent basis now you're gonna notice this on the right side a little bit more we have Jalen Ramsey over here you're gonna see outside pass lead see how he's able to cut that off see how Jalen Ramsey is able to cut that off that's because we didn't click onto the receiver and shield him away from the ball so what you're gonna see here I might drop this but I'm gonna pass lead outside click on and I see how I can kind of cut that off in front of the guy and i'll show you an instant replay again just kind of the click on and the aggressive catch and basically what we're basically doing is we're just simply clicking on and we're turning our guy essentially at a 90 degree angle and making it into an out route and then we're going to actually come back to the ball like that uh, by hitting rotating our stick stick from 90 degrees down to uh to uh, 180 so you're going to go from basically three o'clock to six o'clock and what you're going to see is here and then you see how i'm here and then now i'm coming back i'm actually my joystick is basically pointed directly down and i'm coming back to the football now again that's a tight throw obviously it's ramsey but that's a great example of this corner route i'll show you it again here we might throw a pick on ramsey pass lead down click on you see see how see how it's hard for them to make a pick animation even if they're like basically running the route for you and you'll see here pass lead hard right you see if he undercuts it like that that's what we don't want so obviously we're gonna have a better tight end but and he's not gonna be going up against the best corner in the game but i'll show you one more time this throw pass lead outside see how we can kind of uh, and actually he's able to get inside there but as long as we can get underneath the corner, we're going to be in a lot better uh, spot. I'll show you a little bit of a shade to kind of explain this a little better here. Pass lead hard, right click on. You see how I'm cutting him off? That's the that's the key to this route. Now, this is a great route for corner, or a great way to use for catch corner routes. You're just going to pass lead go down. Uh, you do have to have a certain level of positioning that we're not getting on these guys, which we'll come back to in just a second. Uh, but what you'll see here, there you go. There's an example. See how I can come back to the ball. That's the basic key uh, for doing this. Now, you can do this in almost everything this year. You'll see this little post route over the middle of the field. You don't have to use or catch this, but you can click on to him, and you can kind of come back. Of course, my guy, I forgot to put the running back on a route. 
Um, but you can kind of come back to the ball just even on a post route. Now, with the, I personally don't recommend, unless you're not using classic passing, I personally don't like to user catch if it is um, – or I, I don't like to use rat catches. Uh, this year, they're just not as good. So that's just something to kind of know. But again, pass lead outside, click on. I'm coming back to the ball. That's the animation you want every time. You're going horizontal, and then you're coming back to the ball. Now, this is just man-to-man. -man. We're going to show you some really cool stuff against zone right here. So let's say that they go zone, and zone's a little bit easier than man-to-man. -man. What you're going to do in this example, you're going to see I'm going to click on to my guy, and I'm going to come back to the ball. I'm literally looping my joystick going at nine o'clock and I'm coming back around to six. So you'll see right here again, I'm just going to go at a 90 degree angle to the left and then I'm going to cut it off right there. And you see how it kind of like brings the receiver into an animation where he can come back to the ball. I think that is so pivotal in throwing these. Now, another type of user catch you can do is this right here. This is more of a rocket style of catch. And basically what we want to do with this one is this is against zone or really off coverage man. Uh, I like this against as well. You're just going to streak the outside player. And what you're going to see is at the when he goes, you're going to pass lead left. You're going to click on. You're going to kind of swerve him inside and out or outside and in. And you're going to try to basically make a user catch. Now, zones this year, they tend to drift to the middle, especially against an outside fade like this. So pass lead to the left. There, I got absolutely shedded on a three-man rush. Classic man 23. But again, you'll see here. Pass lead outside, click on. You see how he gets that little rub? And then I can kind of do that right there and uh, be able to make a catch. Literally what I'm doing is I'm just simply swerving him to the left and to the right, um, outside and inside, to be able to get that positioning that I want. You can do it on either way. Again, pass lead left, click on. There you see. You see how it's kind of getting him into an animation? That's the beauty of it. And, and that's the basic idea for user catching down the field. Now, again, the, the idea here, and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to beat a dead horse, but I don't like to throw to covered players, right? Ideally, they're open, but there is a way that these routes get open in these tight windows. See here, I'm going to come back again, and you're going to see we're going to be able to toe tap on the sideline. That time, most of these sideline animations are really difficult to uh, make consistent with this little swerve catch here that we're going to see here. We're going to come in, and then we're going to come in back we're actually right there coming back our joysticks completed completely pointed down and we're able to make that catch so i think that's just something that's really underrated about the sideline catches um it will help a lot you're gonna go up and then you see how i'm kind of like sucking down like that that's that's kind of the key so that's my favorite way to user catch this year um i i have to be honest i think aggressive catches are the most consistent user catch in the game that you don't drop a lot of them you really don't in years past you used to drop these a lot this year you really don't and giving it gives you something that you can have that's pretty decent against man and zone see here i'm going to come back watch how he gets his both of his feet in See how he got both of his feet in? It's because, again, I went horizontal and I came back to the football. Now, you do want to always be putting the ball in a position where only your receiver can get it. So, see, right, right here, I'm going to lob this up to the outside. And, you know, I'm going to have to make a play on that ball with my user, okay? So, we don't want to be throwing the ball where our receiver doesn't have positioning. That's another little tip about uh, coverage. Let me show you cover two. So this help in a cover two defense is coming from the inside. So we're going to pass lead him to the outside. And a lot of times you'll see we'll be able to kind of at least get an animation. We may not be able to come down with the ball, but we're able to at least get the animation to give us a chance to be able to come down with the ball. I'll show it to you again here. Just pass lead this outside to the left. And you see we're able to get kind of that swerve action going. Um, but basically, literally, all you do is you just swerve your receiver. Um, or in this example, if it's man coverage, you may want to come You want to come back to the ball. You don't really want to swerve if it's man. In zone, you typically will have to swerve it a little bit. But if it's man coverage, literally, you're just going to throw an outside pass lead, click on, and you want to come back to the ball just like that. And again, when I say outside pass lead, I'm talking about 9 o'clock or 3 o'clock. You want to pass lead the ball sharp to the side that you're wanting to throw the ball. Pass lead sharp to that side. Now at least I could at least shield the guy from being able to make a play. So this is just a little tutorial I wanted to put together on user catching. There's a lot of different types of user catches, to be honest, this year. Um, so that's just something that you got to understand. But the main one that I really wanted to focus on was this aggressive catch um, on these corner routes. You'll see people do this from bunch, from trips. You're just coming back to the ball. Really nice little aggressive catch 
right there. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn how to run this entire offense, make sure that you join our Patreon. Link is down in the description. We'll teach you how to block the loop. We'll teach you how to blitz, every, beat, and bomb every coverage in the game. And we'll also teach you how to read the defense and actually have combos that are going to shred every defense of the game. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below. Click the link down below. You can sign up, get everything for just 10 bucks. Includes all of our offensive ebooks and our defensive ebooks. And uh, yeah, well, hope to see you guys over at the Patreon uh, page.